hello everyone i am alice of khr arts and cloud orchid publishing and today we are going to talk about how i keep track of all of my tasks and projects this is no easy feat because i have so many different tasks and projects going on and especially because they cross over between different mediums and different work styles. So to begin with, I'm going to give y'all a list of all the different types of work that I do, and then we'll break it down from there. As many of y'all know, I am an author. In addition to that, I'm also an artist, a YouTuber, a Twitch live streamer. I am on hiatus currently, but that is not forever. I'm also a model. And I also work as a freelance social media manager, and I have a corporate day job. This is a long list of different kinds of work and responsibilities that I handle on a regular basis. And the reason why I say a regular basis and not a daily basis is because I don't do all of these things on a daily basis. That would be absolutely bonkers, y'all. Most days, I only do between one and three of these things each day. And how exactly I determine what I'm going to do each day is based on the type of work and how that breaks down in my schedule. For example, my social media work is something that I do every single day, seven days a week. Social media that work that I do is a combination of work for my personal work, so promoting my books, promoting my artwork, promoting my YouTubes, promoting my Twitter, which channel, all of that, and also working as a freelance social media manager, which means that I do all of the that same stuff, except for private clients that hire me to do that. So I do all of that on a daily basis. However, I am very much a fan of work smarter, not harder. So the amount of actual daily work that I have to do in order to promote all of those different accounts for all of those different works and even different clients is that I have a program called Hootsuite which is a social media platform manager. How that works is that once a month, I schedule all of my posts out for the entire month. It usually takes me about one to three days to do. So I sit down and I decide what kind of posts I wanna make for the month, what holidays are there that I wanna hit on, all that kind of stuff. Is there anything new that I wanna promote? And then I schedule all of that out. And a big part of that is also having to figure out where exactly I wanna arrange Arrange everything considering the fact that I am promoting so many different things all at the same time so obviously I don't want to have five posts all go out on a Tuesday at two o'clock that would just be crazy and chances are nobody's going to see those five posts because they're all competing with themselves so I have to take the time and schedule everything out so that each item gets its own time slot including for my clients. So I have to do that times how many clients I have and how many things I'm promoting that month. So it is a lot, but taking those one to three days to schedule all of that out in advance saves me so much time on a daily basis. I rarely post, actually manually post on any social media on any sort of daily basis. I would say that I make manual posts on social media about once or twice a week and that saves me a ton of time the manual work that I do every day on social media is engagement a problem that a lot of people have with social media management tools is that if you just do the management tool and you don't do any engagement that means you don't like stuff you don't comment on stuff you don't share stuff basically if you don't act like a human on the internet the platforms are going to think that you're a bot and you're going to get shadow banned or potentially even lose your account. So that is important to keep in mind if this is something that you're considering. You do need to make sure that you still have that balance of actual engagement versus automation. Being able to schedule that out means that it frees up a lot of my time for all of the other stuff that I do on a regular basis. A big chunk of that being my corporate work that I do for my day job and my day daily living tasks. So what those are, are like my weekly cleaning chores, doing laundry, feeding myself, making sure I get eight hours of sleep, taking care of Squishy, all of that sort of being human upkeep. Those are the things that I do every day. And I know y'all are thinking, well, what does that have to do with your writing and art tasks and things like that? It has everything to do with it. 
because as I've mentioned in my previous videos, I used to live a lifestyle where I replaced sleep with coffee. I would just not sleep for days at a time. I did not take care of myself. I skipped meals a lot and then I would binge eat because I skipped meals. Honestly, my human upkeep was a mess and that has impacted me down the road. It did impact me in the, the immediate, but not as much as it's impacted me over time and now I am future me dealing with future me's problems. So I highly recommend that if you are trying to put together some sort of scheduling for your tasks and projects, make sure that you actually do take into consideration that you need to stop and eat a food. You have to stop and get eight hours of sleep, all that kind of stuff when actually scheduling things in because it might surprise you how exactly you need to balance out things once you start putting in actual human upkeep into your schedule. Speaking of which, a big part of what helps me keep all of these different tasks and projects organized is different apps on my phone. They're super helpful. The first one being the simplest, the alarm clock. I have so many different alarms on my phone which really help me to stay organized. So I have the basic ones like stop what you're doing and eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I have one that stop what you're doing and go take your medication. And then depending on what I'm doing that day, I have alarms for stop what you're doing and get ready for this corporate meeting you have. Or stop what you're doing, you have to go and do your makeup so that you can record a video or do your Twitch live stream or get ready for a photo shoot. Having those alarms on my phone and on top of it, the fact that the iPhone alarm clock has the feature where you can label what the alarm is for. So when the alarm is going off, it'll actually say on my screen what the alarm is for. So it'll literally say, eat breakfast, go to bed, put on your makeup, so that I'm not trying to remember, oh, what was I supposed to be doing? Why did I set this alarm? I actually do go through and I do those labels and it's a super big help for keeping me organized. The other app that I use that I have mentioned in my other videos is called Habitica. This is a free app and it gamifies doing daily chores and doing daily tasks and also doing projects. I highly recommend it. It's super cute and it's super fun. It does every once in a while have its bugs, but hey, it's a free app, but honestly, it is a super great app. It has three different windows, the first one being your daily habits. So on there, I have stuff like you know, brushing my teeth and and read a book and things like that that I'm like, you know, these are habits that I want to build for my daily life. And then the next one is what are the daily tasks that I have to do? And what's nice with those is you can set them for these are tasks that I have to do every day. These are tasks that I have to do once a week. And you can even set which specific day of the week you do that task on. And it shows them all to you and updates every day for you. So I'm able to put on there like, okay, every Friday I do laundry, or every Monday I wash Squishy's water bowl, stuff like that. And then I have my daily tasks, like remembering to eat a food and making sure that I do my social media engagement for the day, all those sorts of things. The last screen is your kind of like checklist. It's the things that you're typically only going to do once. Once you check it off the list, it's done. That's where I keep all of my once tasks and my projects. And by that, I mean things that I only have to do it once and then it's done, such as doing a book review on a particular subject. I only have to do that task once and then it's completed. I don't have to repeat that every day or every week or whatever. And then of course, breaking down bigger projects such as write rough draft for this particular novel, do this many rounds of editing for the novel, send it off to the layout artist, da, 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 putting in all those steps if I want to for that particular project. All those sorts of things I keep track of in my Hepatica app, and then as I complete them, I'm able to physically check them off. It has little radio buttons that you click and it gives you a happy little chirp noise, happy little beep noise, and I have absolutely pavloved myself, y'all, in that when I click that little radio button and it gives me that happy little beep, I feel happy. I feel accomplished. There is that little sense of accomplishment in that, yay, I did a thing. Highly recommend. Another item that I use is I have an ongoing Google Doc that is private. I don't share it with anybody. And I'm pretty sure even if I did, they would get lost 
pretty quickly because to anyone other than me, it is a giant mess. But to me, it is very organized and that's all that matters. And what this document is, is that I have a running list for every day of these are the things that I need to do today. And then I have a separate section for these are the things that I accomplished today. And so I take the items off the I need to do this today list. I delete them off of there and then I put them on the things I accomplished today list. Now you might be asking, isn't this duplication of your Habitica app? Yes. And a big part of that is because I do suffer from obsessive compulsive disorder, as well as I also suffer from ADHD. A big tick for my OCD is I love making lists. Nothing brings me joy quite like making lists and checking things off the list, y'all. The other reason is because of my ADHD, I have no object permanence. So once I complete a task and I check it off my list, it is gone forever. And I have to actually actively think about it to remember, oh yeah, I did that thing. So a problem that I had previously was that I would things off of my to-do list for the day and get to the end of the day and not really feel that sense of accomplishment because I didn't have any tangible proof of the things that I had done. And so having that list of things I accomplished today really, really helps so that if when I'm having those days where I feel like I haven't really done anything, I can go back and look over the things I accomplished list and be like, oh yeah, I did do all these things. Okay. And that reassures my brain and my anxiety and tells me, you know what? You're doing a good job. You're doing the things. In addition to all that, I also have several whiteboards. So I have one whiteboard that is a calendar and that's where I keep all of my meetings and appointments that I have to keep track of, such as scheduling a doctor's appointment, scheduling hanging out with a friend, scheduling a photo shoot, keeping track of all of my corporate meetings, keeping track of any other adulting activities that require that I have to be at a certain place at a certain time or I have to be participating in something on a certain day or a certain time. All of that goes on my calendar whiteboard. I have another whiteboard, it's massive. That is my everything whiteboard. I keep track of my larger to-do list, meaning it is the general to-do list of these are all of the things that I want to accomplish in a future sense. So big picture to-do list, as well as where I keep all track of all of my budgeting. So I have, these are all the bills I have to pay this month, and then I have, these are all the sources of income that I have this month. And I keep track of that every day, keeping track of, okay, I've paid these bills. Okay, I've wrangled in this income. Okay, I have this new opportunity to add to income. Okay, I have this new bill that popped up, all of that. So juggling all of that. The last whiteboard that I have is for whatever writing project I'm currently working on. For instance, my upcoming novel, Be Mine. That whiteboard, I keep track of my word count so I have the actual word count and then I have my goal that I want to reach I have how many chapters I've written and the goal of how many chapters I want the book to have and then I also keep track of how many rounds of ed editing have I done all of that on there and I update that as I work on it and I do that so that I can tangibly see once again this is how much I've accomplished this is how much I still need to do in order to complete this project and doing that helps give me those benchmarks that I need because as I've said in some of my previous videos, you can't just have the big gold star, yay, I completed the project, be your only benchmark. You have to have smaller ones in between there. Otherwise it can cause burnout because there's only the sense of accomplishment with completing the goal rather than completing the tasks along the way that lead up to the big goals. I do talk about that in more of my videos. You can find them linked in the description. Highly recommend y'all check those out. Now, as I said earlier, how I divide up things based on tasks and projects. So it is a combination of one-off tasks as well as tasks that lead up to a bigger project goal. So for instance, a one-off task would be me writing a review for one of my friend's books or me writing a blog post on a particular topic. Whereas a project would be finishing a novel and getting it sent off to the publisher or finishing a really large art project. Things like that have a lot of other steps involved in the completion. So I have the project as a to do on my to do list, but I also have all the tasks that lead up to that project as well so that it gives me those benchmarks I can check off the list 
and keep my motivation up along the way. Now I know y'all are probably feeling a little dizzy at this point because it's like, oh, we have whiteboards and we have apps and we have Google Docs and we have all these lists and things and how do you keep it all straight? And well, that's the thing is that in keeping track of all these different projects and tasks and goals and things, I put them in buckets. They're very simple buckets. It is the type of work which I listed off previously. I will assign maybe Tuesday is work on writing day and Wednesday is work on art day and then Thursday I have a photo shoot. Or sometimes I have it where December is work on writing and we're not going to do anything else. And then January is work on art and we're not going to do anything else. It all depends on my personal motivation at the time and what I feel capable of doing. There are some periods of time where I only have enough patience to work on one type of work this day and then I need to work on something completely different the next day and other times I just get the ball rolling and that's all my hyper focus wants to do and it doesn't care about anything else in the world. So in that respect my scheduling of the different kinds of work is at the absolute mercy of my ADHD and my personal motivation but I have learned from past experience what works best for me is to lean into the ADHD. Eventually everything will get done because that is just who I am as a person. If it's on the to-do list, it's going to get done. Will it get done tomorrow? Maybe not, but it'll get done. But if tomorrow I feel like working on a drawing instead of working on a writing project I had been working on, you know what, we're going to lean into it and we're just going to work on the drawing because at the end of the day, when I lean on things like that, everything will eventually get done. So that is typically how I keep up my motivation and keep the ball rolling on all these different tasks and projects is just leaning into whatever I feel particularly motivated to do that day. Now, of course, that does butt up against things that do have time limits, such as deadlines, or as I talked about previously, things that are hard scheduled, it has to happen on this day, at this time, blah, blah, blah. So, of course, those take priority over whatever my ADHD happens to want to pay attention to that day. Some days that's really hard for me to do. Other days, it's no big deal. And again, that's just the roll of the dice with having these types of disorders, unfortunately. But again, I've learned to live with that and you have good days and you have bad days and you just do your best. In the past, people who have asked me the question of how I keep track of everything, keep everything organized, oftentimes are very overwhelmed by this whole explanation. And a lot of people are left sitting there thinking, well, is that what I need to do in order to accomplish everything I want to do? And of course the answer is no. You need to find what system works for you. For me personally, because I'm doing a lot of different things and because of the disorders that I have, there is a very specific way that I need to go about all of this in order to keep myself motivated and keep myself on track. Because without my whiteboards and my apps, and my phone and my alarms and my Google Docs and all of that stuff, I will devolve to just being a goblin doing anything but anything that I'm actually supposed to be doing. So if I'm supposed to be working on a commission painting, I will literally find the most complicated and weird way of vacuuming my bedroom in order to avoid doing that task. Just things like that, or just sitting and just playing video games and not getting anything done or just insert anything else ridiculous here. Without this very rigid structure that I've created for myself with all of these different elements, that is what would happen to me. And that is why I've created this very specific, very complicated structure in order to keep myself motivated and on track because without it, I would only get a fraction of the productivity that I do today. So some tips that I recommend for figuring out, well, what system works for me is try out a few different things and see how you feel about it. Some people prefer having a physical paper planner. Some people prefer to have electronic planners on their phone or on their computer. Some people prefer to just have pen and paper, sticky notes, things put on their fridge, whatever works for you. Try out different things and you might be surprised by what things you might find to be actually really helpful that you might not have previously considered. 
And it is something that I know my neurodivergent pals will agree with that it makes it very, very difficult, but neurotypical people struggle with this too. Sometimes we think, oh, well, that's too obvious of a thing to do. I should just be able to do the thing, right? If you have to make five different identical lists in five different places in order for you to stay motivated and stay on task and remember what you're doing, then do it. The be one of the best pieces of advice that I've gotten is that there are no points for doing things the right way, aka the normative way. If you have to do something that seems silly or seems obvious or seems overcomplicated, but it works for you, do it. Because maybe a checklist doesn't work for you, or maybe whiteboards don't work for you, but maybe having sticky notes everywhere works for you, or maybe having 20 alarms on your phone works for you, or maybe having a really long in-depth project management waterfall Gantt chart works for you. Do whatever works best for you because at the end of the day it's your tasks and it's your projects and you're the one who has to get them done. So don't be afraid to explore and maybe get a wee bit weird in how you create your list and create that motivation for yourself. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you like this video please be sure to give it a like and if you're new subscribe. All right everyone thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.